to tech brother with dame today we are going to answer this question in execute sql task what is result set and explain single row full result set and xml result set let's go to ssdt your bids whatever you have and then bring execute sql task to it so the very first thing let me drop this one and show you how you bring it so we have execute sql task and drag to the control flow pan now once uh, we have the execute sql task we need to study this result set so we see the result set here is a uh, already uh, defined as none so what we have to do here we have to select a connection and then we need to write a query so in case I'm writing a uh, insert query here and passing some hardcore value or I'm writing some update query or I'm uh, writing some delete query so I'm not returning anything what I'm doing I'm uh, just using those uh, DML operations and updating record, deleting record, or insert records. So I do not need to save any records uh, in any variable. So it is uh, result set none is equal to um, result set is, is equal to none is fine in this case. But in case uh, when I'm returning a single row, let's uh, suppose I'm returning select f name comma last name from a table where ssn is equal to Zero, 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 zero. In this case, what I'm doing, this SSN, by passing SSN, it means that this should be only returned one value. So we, I'm returning first name and last name. So I have to set the single row. A result set is equal to single row. It can have multiple columns. In this case, first name and last name, but it should be only returning one row. In cases where it will return more than one record and you have set to the single row, your execute SQL task will fail. Now in this case what you will do you will go here and then uh, you will define the variables you will put zero here and give the first name of the variable and in the let's say it's variable one and then uh, you will add another variable and uh, say it one and then uh, you will say call it variable two or a last name according to the name uh, of the columns if you want to use them so that's how you are going to map them Let's consider, go back and select on the result set where we have a full result set. Full result set is when you are getting more than one row. That's where it is going to be used. So you can have one column, but that should be returning with multiple rows. Or you can have multiple columns and they will be coming with multiple rows. So you can use that one. And next here, you can also have, let's say in the, the, there could be scenarios where you have only one row, but there could be multiple columns. But the scenario is uh, anytime it will be returning more than one row, it, it should be able to uh, handle that. So we are, uh, let's say we are right in here and we select our connection and in the query we say, select uh, top 10 F name from table. So it is going to return us 10 names. We can always go back and say last name if you want. So we can change the columns what we want. So result set uh, is ADO, record set uh, um, variable type. That's uh, where we can save those results at. So in this case, we have to go to result set and then we have to add a variable. But uh, string type variable is not going to hold those values. So we have to create a, a variable called object type. So to, when you are defining a full result set you have to have a variable called object uh, type variable and that will be able to hold those uh, records in the memory for you the last one what we have here we have uh, let me go back here and we have xml if uh, your query is returning xml string or xml uh, output then you will be using uh, xml uh, in the result set and uh, especially when you are saying uh, uh, we have uh, queries in select query for XML path or uh, whatever. So that's how you will be writing your query and your select query is going to return you the uh, output in uh, XML format. Uh, and that, that, that will be saved in the XML. So you can um, have create a variable and then map the variables. Uh, that's a uh, you know, short answer for this question and uh, I will see you in next uh, video.